When you're stranded in the wilderness, your survival hinges on one thing, water. Finding a clean and reliable water source can make all the difference. In today's video, we'll cover an essential skill, digging a seep well. This method is a great way to access naturally filtered water from the ground when other sources aren't safe to drink. Whether you're near a river or stuck in muddy terrain, this simple technique could save your life. Let's walk through how to locate, dig, and use a seep well so you can always have a method to find clean water in an emergency. So what exactly is a seep well? It's a small hole you dig near a water source, like a river or a marshy area. The idea is to let the ground naturally filter the water through soil, sand and rocks, trapping debris and some contaminants before it reaches your well. This method won't make water entirely safe, but it's much cleaner than drinking directly from rivers or lakes, which often contain harmful bacteria and parasites. The first step is to scout a good location. You want to look for moist areas near natural water sources like rivers, lakes, or streams, but not too close. Ideally, you should be about 5 to 10 feet away from the water. This distance helps ensure that the water that reaches your well has been filtered through the ground. If you're in a very dry area, pay attention to spots where plants are thriving. This indicates groundwater. Even in dry riverbeds, moisture may still be present under the surface making it a prime candidate for digging. Once you've found your spot, it's time to dig. You don't need any fancy tools for this, just a sturdy stick or your hands. Start by digging a hole about 12 to 18 inches wide and roughly a foot deep. As you dig, water will begin seeping in from the sides and bottom. The ground acts like a natural filter, pulling in water from the surrounding soil. In sandy areas, it might be a good idea to dig further away from the water, say 8 to 10 feet, since sand can let water filter more effectively. If you're working with clay soil, you can dig a little closer, about 3 to 5 feet will do the job. Now, the water that first seeps and might look dirty, especially if the soil is muddy. Don't worry, scoop out the initial batch of murky water and give the well time to refill. After a few rounds of this, the water will begin to clear up as the surrounding soil continues to filter it. For an added layer of filtration, you can line the bottom of the well with rocks or gravel. This helps keep sediment from getting into your container. Although a seep well offers naturally filtered water, you should still take extra precautions. If you have access to purification methods like boiling, chemical treatments, or a portable water filter, use them. Boiling is the most effective way to kill any bacteria or parasites that might still be in the water. If you don't have a fire, at least run the water through a piece of cloth to remove larger particles. Seep wells aren't one-time use tools. They can continue providing water for hours or even days. However, after heavy rain or animal activity, the water could get contaminated again. If animals drink from your seep well or if the well becomes muddy, scoop out the water and let it refill. Stay mindful of how clean the area around your well remains and always consider your environment. Certain areas may be more prone to contamination from animals or runoff. You might not always be near a water source. If you find yourself in drier environments, use other survival tactics like gathering morning dew with a cloth or using transpiration bags around plant leaves to collect moisture. Every drop counts when you're in a survival situation. To recap, a seep well can provide you with clean water in the wilderness by using natural filtration through the ground. Start by locating a spot with moisture, dig your well to a foot or more in depth, and remove the first few rounds of murky water until it clears. Always try to purify the water further by boiling or filtering if you can. Try practicing this technique in a safe, controlled environment so when you're faced with a real survival situation, you'll be ready. And always remember to bring along portable water filtration tools when you head into the wild. It's better to be prepared than to rely on luck. Survival is all about adapting and using the tools nature provides. Stay prepared, stay hydrated, and stay safe out there.